heck of a hit, huh? It just came to the surface and crushed <laughs> the Yuzuri Popper. That was crazy. Wow. It was sunny for like five days straight, and then all of a sudden, we lost all of our light, and it was completely cloudy out for our day of inshore fishing. We made our first stop and started trolling some pilchards. And right away, we hooked into a rooster fish. Oh, a little baby rooster. Got that rooster fish closer to the boat and I grabbed him by his tail and pulled him in. There he is, little baby rooster. All right, that's a good way to start it off out here. Got an overcast day at a Crocodile Bay Resort here in Costa Rica and just started trolling some little pilchards that we uh, sabikied up earlier with the uh, ahi sabikis. And the first thing we caught is a little baby rooster, so I'm sure we're gonna catch some bigger ones. But man, they are pretty fish, aren't they? Look at the colors on that thing. Before I'd even got that fish back in the water, Louisa hooked up. Another baby rooster, Jimmy. Look at this one jumping. <laughs> Rooster fish are such a neat looking fish. They're just so colorful. So we got her rooster fish in and pulled it up and we started showing that pair of rooster fish off. It was a really cool way to start the morning with a nice double on rooster fish. Didn't even get a chance to get mine back in the water yet and she's already got one hooked up. I, I thought mine was gonna be the little fish of the day but it looks like uh, she got one even smaller. Yeah, mine a little smaller. <laughs> I, never a good... a, yeah, I never caught a small rooster like this. All the nice. ones I catch usually big. Yeah, cool. good competition to have. We'll see if we can catch the smallest one today. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Those two fish swam away with no problem at all. There's no reason at all to keep a rooster fish. They're not any good to eat. They're very, very dark meat. So when you catch them, you do want to get them back in the water pretty quickly so that they'll swim away healthy. So Louisa started putting one of those live baits out and she got hit as she was putting the live bait in the water. Got to fish on. All right, fish yeah. on. Woo, right here by the boat. It's really cool being able to fish with Louisa all the time and spend time on the water with her because she loves to fish. So it's always exciting to get out there with your better half and just pull in some fish and have a good morning in shore. Oh, wow. <laughs> Jump like a large mouth bass. I was about to say, this fish thinks he's a dolphin or something. It was another nice rooster fish, a little bit bigger than the other ones that we'd hooked. All right. When you start catching rooster fish one size, they usually all start coming in that size because when they get schooled up, they school up with fish about the same size as themselves. Another nice rooster fish from Louisa. All right. <laughs> Such an overcast day, a little gloomy out, but the little roosters are very active. Super aggressive fish. Yes, well done. <laughs> yes. Got a couple nice jumps out of them too, huh? Yeah. All right, this nice rooster fish put up a good fight, so we're about to release him now. Catch me when it's bigger. The captain got a call on the radio that one of the other boats found a school of spinner dolphin, so we decided to pack everything up and run offshore in hopes of catching a big tuna. So we pull up to the school of dolphin and they are everywhere. There's little dolphin jumping and spinning, bigger ones jumping and spinning. We see two of them popping out of the water. There's boats running around them, fishing on them. An amazing spectacle to see all these dolphin and birds and everything just jumping and moving around you. And I know just from fishing them on a regular basis that you do want your lures diving a little bit deeper in the water typically. So I decided to start by putting the diving lures out. And right away, I got hit. Just released that rooster fish. 
and uh, we got a call on the radio that there was some spinner dolphin out here from the other boat. So we decided to run out here and see if we can catch some tuna under them. And uh, sure enough, right after I put this Josuri Hydro Magnum in the water, got hooked up. And I've fished spinner dolphins several times in the past, several times here in Costa Rica and Panama and Mexico, different areas. And every time I've been on them, we've done very, very good with the tuna. So I got that fish closer to the boat and we pulled him in. And that's one of the beautiful things about fishing out here in Costa Rica is that you can be catching rooster fish one minute and five minutes later catching yellowfin tuna. It's so awesome being able to catch inshore and offshore fish in the same day. This isn't a real big one, but it's gonna make some great sashimi tonight. We'll see if there's any bigger ones in this school here. Real nice fish. You can see him right there, he's hooked on that uh, Yozuri Hydro Magnum, that did the trick. That looks kind of like the Bonita and stuff that are out here running along with them too. So we got set back up, we put the diving lures back out again and uh, started trolling in front of the school of dolphin to see if we could pick up another yellowfin tuna. Three minutes later and Louise and I had a double on the yellowfin tuna. Woo! Doubled up on the Ozuri Hydro Magnums, buddy. These are smaller tuna. They weren't real big, but they were still a lot of fun to fight. So I got that tuna closer to the boat and realized it was small enough to lift in, so I went ahead and just lifted it straight in the boat. Not long after I pulled mine in, Louisa pulled hers in. And we had our first double on yellowfin tuna for the day. Those were kind of small tuna, so if we caught any more that size, we decided we were gonna release them. All right, well, there's the double. They're going pretty crazy there. And uh, a little smaller than the last ones, but we're in them now, so we're not gonna prolong this anymore. We're gonna get these guys in the Ingle cooler. We're gonna go out there and try to catch a couple more. How about that? Let's do it. All right. It's tuna o'clock. Yes. And in the distance, we could see some of the yellowfin tuna jumping out of the water. So I got my popper ready and ran up to the bow of the boat. I slung that popper out there and I got to pop it about two times before I had one explode on it. Woohoohoo! Did you see that fish crush that Yozuri popper? Oh my gosh! Doesn't get much better than a topwater bite. Woo! So I worked that tuna to the back of the boat and started fighting him from the back of the boat because it was a lot more stable up there. It was very rocky in the front of the boat with the boat swaying from side to side. I could definitely tell that it was a much larger fish than the first three that we caught. Wow, he is digging down. And that fish was just pulling down and I was pulling up on it and just giving it everything I had to get that fish close to the surface because I didn't want to lose that school of dolphin. So I got him close to the boat and Charlie gaffed him and brought him in. When you're fishing the spinner dolphin, the tuna are actually below them following the dolphin, just kind of going along with them wherever they go. Woo! The biggest one so far, and we just got in them. Man, I don't know how clearly you guys saw that, but uh, I saw it pretty clearly where that fish just came up and crushed that popper on the surface. There were so many of them jumping back there. That's the exci most exciting hit to see, in my opinion, is when a fish crushes a popper on top water, man. It's just so awesome, especially a big yellowfin tuna like this that just comes all the way out of the water on it. Look at this fish. Oh my gosh. These fish are shaped like bullets. They lay all these fins down when they start coming through the water. If you notice that, there's a groove right here that that fin lays down in, and that's what it does. This, this, this uh, dorsal fin's already laid down right here, 
it's, it's hard to even pop out, but right there is a groove for that big dorsal fin as well. That goes in, everything's there, except for that tail kicking, and he's just guiding himself with these. This is what it looks like when it's coming at you, except those fins are folded in. If you're a bait fish and you see this coming, you better watch out because you are gonna get eaten. Wow, we're gonna be eating good tonight. So we got set back up and pulled in front of the school of dolphin again, and we decided to throw poppers instead of putting the trolling lures out. There were a ton of tuna below that school of dolphin. So Louise and I got on the back of the boat and almost instantly she hooked up with a really nice tuna. Good job, Louisa! Woo! Woo! Woo that was awesome! That was a heck of a hit, huh? It just came to the surface and crushed the Yosuri Popper. That was crazy! Wow. I was right behind her. I made a couple pops and then I ended up hooking up. Oh, yeah! Doubled up! <laughs> These were definitely the biggest tuna of the day, and Louisa had a really, really big one on. Hers was much larger than mine. Tuna are a very strong fish. I mean, they are all muscle, solid muscle, very fast, very strong fish. Just amazing to see all those spinner dolphins, and oh, man, you know if you kidding. find those spinner dolphins, you're always gonna find the tuna, most that likely. That is a fact. That is one thing about a tuna, they are a backbreaker. Especially when they get right below the boat like this, they just sit there and spin, like slowly coming up. And I'm trying to keep that head tilted up so that he's not pulling line out. So that's what I like about this uh, 20 to 40 class air wave elite, because it's got plenty of flex in the tip for casting, you feel things, you're gonna be using it for different things. Like I even use the same rod for snook, but you can also bring it out here and catch big yellowfin tuna on it as well. It's got a lot of backbone, man. That's a strong rod. They build these rods right. thinking about dinner. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, this will make you work up an appetite. And then the lines cross and then we have to do our little tuna dance and go under and go over and mix around so our lines don't get tangled and crossed and cut. And then I saw my fish below the boat, and it's almost like it had a heart attack because I kind of lifted it up beside the boat, and then it just dropped down. All of a sudden, it just quit kicking and just gave up. So I gave one more good lift to that fish, and Charlie stuck it and pulled it in the boat. And that's what we got him on. Wow. What a nice fish. Whoo! Right after I pulled my fish in the boat, Louisa's fish ended up pulling the hook and getting away. Louisa handled it pretty well for fighting that fish as long as she did and having it get off. All right guys, so I had a really, really big yellowfin tuna on the other end of this line that you guys just saw like crush that popper and it just came off after a long fight so yes I'm pretty upset but we got enough tuna in the boat and it's been a great day so check out Jimmy's tuna all right and there's that big tuna that I just landed there on the Yozuri bull popper Louisa had one on as well on the hydro popper hers was even bigger than mine and yeah. it shook the hook right below the boat it huh did, it did. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It was my workout for today, for sure. Oh my gosh, yes. yes. It was an amazing day on the water to be able to catch rooster fish and tuna in the same day. And this again is a good look at that last tuna that just came in the boat. Mm -hmm.